So it has been like forever guys since I've seen you and unfortunately I am not out on the bank fishing today because I still need to grab myself a landing net and a landing, uh, a landing mat sorry, before I can even think about it. But I promise you at some point or another I'm going to be back out there. It's not going to be as crazy with the gear as it was before with bivvies and everything. I'm just struggling this year I'm afraid and I can't afford to, um, to sort myself out. I had to sell everything else to replace my car because um, pretty much just exploded. All the ABS love and all that crap and whatever. I'm not going to bore you with all that detail. This is Euro Fishing and they have just added a few new lakes to it. So I'm quite excited to give them a try. The game has been uh, a bit crap really in the past, really buggy and whatever, but apparently they fixed quite a lot of that. They've added new species as well, like perch and whatever. A few quite interesting looking lakes on here. There's one in the docks. I think it's the one that I've heard. It's the one that's over in Swansea, is it? Where um, Alan Blair and that went not so long ago on Eurobanks. So we'll give that a go in an episode, but I don't want to try that one today. I want to check out this other lake is that it that's the one just because this seems to have the biggest fish in it so let's have a go when it loads let's see if they have cleaned the bugs up on this as well boom there it is so So it's seven o'clock in the morning. Got a northwesterly wind going on. Now this lake is silty and gravelly and quite weedy. So ideally what I want to do is find a little patch of gravel. I've heard it's mainly silt. So I've got a couple of different sized silt rigs and a couple of different sized gravel rigs. And because there is the biggest fish in here, I've gone for the biggest baits that I've got at the moment. So rig, we've got a silt rig on. I'm going to swap that for a gravel rig and keep it on the tiger nut there. That's 20 mil tiger nut. We've got this 16 mil um, boily, another 18 mil dumbbell, and another 18 mil boily. So I'll lower the size hooks because I'm using a size four quarter KD rig, that silt, and blowback rig size four. On a gravel rig and a 20 mil tiger nut. So I need to find the spot gravel. Oh, sweet. Okay. Let's stick this 18 mil boilie on that. I would like to have stuck two really on there in real life. Silk. We want a silk rig anyway. I like that corner of the island. And then the other one will stick down there. Let's have a look. Hey! That's number two already. Here we go. Whoa! You're going to lose it there. I need to lower that drag, man. Okay, well, it's taking line out 65 yards, 66 yards. So I don't think it's a tench or a bream. It's got to be a carp or a catfish. 76 yards is going quite far out. Come on baby. Ah. Mate, can you imagine if this was real life? Come on. It's still going out. This might be a big cat and the other one is screaming. There's definitely no point trying to grab that. 130 yards. It's just going out and out and out. I kind of wish we didn't have a bite on the other rod. That noise is really annoying. You'd take it off the rest though, wouldn't you? This has got to be a monster. 180 yards it's gone out now. I can't give it any more. Come on! Jesus! 198 yards, 200 yards it's gone out now. It's gone out over about 130 yards since we've hooked into it. This has got to be a massive catfish. If this is a carp, this is the biggest carp I've ever had on this game. 200, this has got to be the biggest fish I've ever had on this game. Oh, we've lost out of a fish. Oh! No! Oh no, 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 no! What's going on? Oh, mate! What happened there? Why did that happen? Oh, mate, that's gonna, I've never had a fight like that before. 
Oh, I, maybe it's this lake. Maybe the fish are just massive in this lake. So let's hope we get another fish like that. 200 yards that went out. We weren't making nothing on it ever. Can't believe that. Can't believe I lost that fish. What's going on with rod three then? Oi, 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 don't mind rod three. Oi, come on, see what I mean with the rod selection? It should just be pushing a button, right? Bring that drag up, I had to drop it right down, didn't I? Ah, oh, see? Oh, mate! If this was actual real fishing, I think I'd have a cup of coffee now. Just chuck that down there. And then rod three, for some reason, is out of water. I don't think I ever got a chance to even cast that out last time. And some silt, hopefully. Yeah, lovely. I think we had a bit too much disturbance, man, from them last, that last fish, yeah, well, last two fish, three fish, actually. And all that casting out, because it's died down now. So what, coming up for half nine, we still got northwesterly. Oh, here we go. Rod three. Oh, that drag's a bit high. Six, 88 yards, 90 yards. It's going out. That's a good sign. It's got to be a carp or a catfish. Come on. Let's land one of the fish out of here at least. 111 yards. Sneak that drag up. Oh, maybe not. Ooh, ooh. 125 yards we're on. It seems to be still sneaking out a bit. 173, 172. Here we go. Oh, the other rod's gone off. Making some line up, 182, 181. Ah, oh, going back up again. Going around the corner. Come on, danger zone again. 200 yards, 201 yards, 202 yards, mate. Maybe I just ain't got the tackle for this lake. I'm not making anything on this fish. 214 yards. We're in the red. We're in the red. We're still in the red. 217. For a second there, before this other rod went off. I was making some line on it. 217, 216, 215. Here we go, come on. Okay, 167, it's coming in slowly. Oh, I'll think of that. Just bouncing up and down on that red. I'll say this they've definitely, um, I mean, providing that we, we don't have the same thing that happened last time, that it just goes over to the other side and just snaps for no reason. It just freezes in that. Um, danger position no matter what you do it seems like they've really improved on the fighting on this game 155 it's a big fish we can just see him he's just sneaking back round it just sneaking back round the corner come on baby it's got to be a catfish maybe once it gets round there it'll start bringing in a bit I think it's knackered it ain't fighting at all now it's just coming in at a steady pace 146 This definitely ain't a tench, mate. You know, adrenaline would be just going through the roof now, wouldn't it, if this was a legit fish. Oh, it's sneaking over there, man. If that was real life, that began <laughs> real quick. That's a catfish. I saw its tail. It's going to be massive if I've seen its tail already. Oh, mate. Pooge. If this ain't massive, I'm going to be disappointed, man. Be big, man. This is going to be big. Don't go in there, dude. No, no, no. It's coming now. Oh, mate, this is going to be massive. Come on. Jesus. I'm sure we caught this at like half nine in the morning, wasn't it? In real life, it's like 11 o'clock now. It's not real life, Mark. Graphics are all right, but it's not that good. Here we go. Here we go. Here she comes. Come on. This is going to be huge. It's going to be huge. Oh, watch that though, dude. Yes. I love the way the landing net goes through the jetty as well. It's cool. Oh. 
It's a beast! The fat cat. It's a boss fish, baby. Oh, yes. First 50 pound catfish. Oh, it's well over 50 pound, man. 79 pound. Beast! Well, on that note, guys, I'm going to leave it there. But I'll see you later.